Okay, so we really do think, uh, astronomers think that the universe is expanding and it is also expanding at an ever faster rate. So the universe is accelerating as it expands. So the fate of the universe is going to be what we just discussed in the previous segment. But let's say that they're wrong and let's say that the universe is actually going to stop expanding and then it's going to start to collapse. So it's very similar. If I take this pen and I throw it up into the air, then if gravity down here is strong enough, it will stop the, the ascent of this thing and then we'll start to pull it down. So if there is enough mass and energy in the universe, it's going to stop the expansion of the universe and, is, and the universe is going to start to collapse. So one theory is the Big Crunch, and the Big Crunch is going to be the opposite of the Big Bang. So as the universe collapses, what's going to be happening to the temperature of the universe? It's going to start to go back up again. Okay, and so remember if you take a gas and you compress it, its temperature goes up. So as the universe is collapsing, the temperature of the universe is going to go up. Eventually, it's going to reach a temperature at which atoms are going to be ionized. The electrons will start flying off the atoms because it's too hot. Okay, then it's going to get so hot that nucleuses will no longer be able to exist, and then you'll have just protons and neutrons in the universe. Okay, then it's going to get so hot that even protons and neutrons will not be able to exist, and then you're going to have quarks. Okay, then it's going to get so hot that matter and antimatter will be able to for, uh, form from the energy of the universe. So notice that it's the opposite of the Big Bang. And then finally, the forces would begin to uh, unify again. So the first thing that would happen would be that the uh, electromagnetic and the, the weak nuclear forces would go together to make the electroweak force. And then we said that at even higher temperatures, the electroweak force would combine with the strong nuclear force to make gut, the grand unified theory. And then finally, gut would combine with gravity to make toe, the theory of everything. So it would be basically the reverse of the Big Bang. Now there are some people that say, no, that's not good enough. So that what's going to happen is that the universe is going to collapse and then it's going to explode again in a new Big Bang. So that you're, this is going to be called the Big Bounce theory of universal evolution. The universe will collapse to a infinite point and then it's going to explode again as another Big Bang. And then you have the big applause. Now, I just came up with that one. So if you hear that on the internet, I'm the one that came up with that idea. So the big applause would be an infinite number of big bounces so that the universe begins as a Big Bang, then gravity pulls it in, and then you have a clap, and then it explodes again as another Big Bang, and then gravity pulls it in. And so you have an infinite number of big uh, bangs, and followed by collapses. And every time that you have a new Big Bang, you could create new laws of physics. So that each universe that is created might be slightly different than the universe that came before it. So pretty cool. All right, so there you go. So now we're finished talking about the future of the universe. So uh, uh, we'll take one more break, and when we come back, we'll take a quiz over what you have learned.